Hey there crewmates, how's it going? It's Mifko here. Here's a very sped up version of me animating the next baby Foxy. What I'm going to show here is um, we have baby Bonnie dancing, um, pretty much. And then baby baby comes crashing into him. I'm just going to animate her, adjust the keyframe that she's currently on, and then paste her dance moves in, pretty much really. Alright, so if we actually look at this shot real quick here, then we may notice baby snap a little bit here. Now I'm just going to go into the motion editor then. Um, I'm going to then click M on my keyboard that will make a keyframe within the motion editor. Uh, we're going to then want to go to the next keyframe here where the where this position ends. Um, and then create another keyframe. So we create one keyframe in the motion editor where the animation between these two keyframes start and where it ends. Have it selected between these two keyframes here. Select the bones that I want to adjust. Go down here to where it says spine and left click and hold and drag it all the way up. And that should make it uh, not only um, get rid of the snap but possibly even make it a bit smoother. So I was going to um, show how to paste the keyframes here. Nice. She seems to be dancing a fair amount in this part here. Um, so that's baby baby. I don't want it to be the same start point of the dance moves out all the time here. So I'm just going to select one of these keyframes at random. I think I'll go from this one right here and then go to when she's about to stop. So we're going to then hold down shift and left click. Uh, making sure that the bones that we want are selected, which in this case is all of them. Uh, we are going to hold our control, tap C, go back to the slide that we would like her to continue dancing at, then just paste them where we would like them. I know it seems like a bit of a, of a cheaty way here. The dancing animations take forever, but I usually try and adjust the keyframe as much as possible when I paste them in. I think as long as it doesn't look too obvious that it's just the same movements or and all again, then I think it should be okay. Now, I would admit, um, I'm not sure if it, if it like actually show in the actual project, but, um, but Baby Baby's dance moves do look kind of repetitive to the point it's kind of obvious, so I might maybe try and adjust it slightly here, just so it doesn't look um, too repetitive here. You would just, those are a few adjustments, actually. Let's see what it looks like in here now. Still looks kind of the same, kind of here. So I see baby baby doing, yes. I see her doing this. All right, does it realistic? Let me try a bit. Okay, I look like a weird. <laughs> uh, that's partly what I do sometimes. Uh, it may look a bit strange, but it helps me get a good idea of uh, what exactly I'm having the characters do here. Uh, maybe if I was to do like a dance move also, it might look a bit silly. Um, just a bit of messy around until I can figure out a dance move uh, for me to animate. Gee whiz, I look weird. I think um, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to stick with it, with it for now at least. Um, 
So, yeah, I'm just going to continue animating for a bit, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really, then. And now what I think I'm going to do here is that I'm going to left click and hold within the um, graph editor. Actually, first I'm going to zoom out a little first. And now I'm just going to left click and drag. So there are all these little dots here because all these little dots are actually uh, the position uh, and the rotation of the um, keyframes. And once I do that, I'm going to select uh, this little thing like here, spine uh, tangents. And what this does is that uh, it basically adjusts these little curves, which is what the animation is um, made out of in effect. It usually does a bit of a smoother job at it than um, how it's usually set, uh, pretty much. you got to kind of be careful with it though, because it can also cause like uh, things moving when they're not supposed to. Maybe extra movements happening, which can cause glitches. Just to be aware of. We're more or less done with Baby. I think she's almost there. Uh, I think she just needs to be copy and pasted, maybe? Or was it to be repetitive though? And yeah, here's the rendered version. Also, I'd like to quickly say that on my Twitter, Facebook, and community tab on um, YouTube, I have uh, recently done a post asking which is the cutest scene, uh, in your opinion, uh, throughout the uh, Baby Foxy series uh, on my channel, really. The reason why I'm asking because I'm planning to put a compilation video of my Baby Foxy animations highlighting the cutest scenes. So yeah, if you want to get involved, uh, feel free if you like. That's pretty much all for now, crewmates. Thank you for watching. It's Mif Crew here, and I'll be back with more videos coming soon. Goodbye, crewmates. Thank you.